Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gaming here to kick off the semi-final round for the Champions Tournament. We are down to our final four, the awesome four, sir. Before this video ends, we will know our final two. And it will also be a third place playoff, because why the hell not? Right, without further ado, let's get on with our first match, shall we? Which is Ultimate Dino King taking on Nova. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Ultimate Dino King, we have got a Satiosaurus. Ultimate Dino King doing rather well thus far. This will definitely be their toughest fight yet though. But yeah, they're looking very resurgent after a rather disappointing tournament, getting knocked out by Iron Dan. However, in the blue corner for Navarre, we have got Super Eocarcaria. And this thing is a beast. Even with type disadvantage, it's still got the Awaken mode, it's still got the Death Fire. So it's still going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'm fitting that we're on the volcanic field because I feel like this is going to be a very fiery contest. It's a tie. But the Satyosaurus is willpower type, so ties probably do favour it, even though it does take more damage for the looks of things. Ooh, is Eocark landing the first hit? Type advantage though. Spearing Satyosaurus. Major damage. Tie. Ooh, ultimate responding with a crit of his own. Decent damage done there. Both our guys have got off crits so far, but it is ultimate that has the slight lead. And they'll be extending that lead with a softening beam. Oh, what's up, people? But it is awakening time for the Eocark area. Oh no, it died. <laughs> Never mind. Right, coming in for Navan's second dinosaur, we have Allosaurus. Navan, no stranger to playing catch up in this tournament. They were behind against MEGP10. And I think they were behind against Kionte as well, but they came back to win. So Navan won't be too panicked yet. Now might be a time to panic. It's a Futaba cannon. And that is going to do a big, big dent in Allosaurus's health. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Ultimate turning the screw. Ooh, that could be a crucial hit. The warning type effect activates as well. Could be a crucial hit that could be from the van. And it indeed takes out the Satyosaurus. And now the Allosaurus will have type advantage against this Shant. Just when it looked like Ultimate was going to pull away, Nirvana struck back. And we're going to find out how crucial that Tail Smash was. Well, could be. Oh, that's another tie. Ultimate still has the lead, but this aloe, if it can get a hit... Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to. Yeah, look at that type of ant. Massive difference there. If Allosaurus can just get a hit here. And I don't think... Nope. It did some damage, but it just couldn't get that hit. And now for Nirvan, it's all up to Spino. Well, if it is one dinosaur you want to rely on to make a comeback, Spinosaurus is a good choice. So we won't count Nirvana yet. But Ultimate Dino King's still relatively on top. Ooh, that's another hit from the Shant. Oh, what have we got here? We've got a nature's blessing. All right, things not looking good for Ult for um, Nirvana. Oof, doesn't want to get hit by a crit. That's the last thing they need. 
Ooh, but gets a crit of their own. A crucial crit that could be. And a shockwave to boot. Spinosaurus dragging Nirvan back into this contest. Right, that means that he'll be going skizzers. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, I'm dodging the bullet there. That's another tie. Oh, that's crit. <laughs> that's crit. That's going to do it for Nirvan. And now, Bob Fokker and Bankers are down to their last dinosaurs. Coming in for ultimate, we have Atakia. Seems to be a staple for their team in recent times, and it does rather quite well. Can it close the show here for, for ultimate? Or can the Spinosaurus overpower it? King. Well, it's all on this, isn't it? The Spinosaurus did take a beat in, though. But Nirvana is definitely getting some momentum now. That's a Futaba cannon. A shockwave would be very welcome here. And look at this. We are pretty much all square. Ooh, until Ultima gets that next hit, that is. One hit will do it now. Ultima again back on top. And all they need now is one hit and they will go through to the final. Ah, oh, there it is. Well, it was a valiant effort from the Van. They came back into it with a Spino, but Ultima Dino King sees the job through in the end and advances to the final. And Nirvan bows out at the semis. Right, let's find out who will join Ultimate in the final. Right then, in the red corner, for Dino fans, we have got a Shunasaurus. Dino fans been one of the most impressive combatants in this tournament, and throughout the trials as well. And probably the surprise package, to be honest. Didn't expect them to do this well. And they are one win away from making an appearance in the final. But standing in their way in the blue corner, we have a Patasaurus. Note be one of the veterans of my tournaments. Always seems to always seems to feature. But they've never got they've never got this far before. They always seem to fall short at the uh, last 16 or quarterfinal stage. I think, yeah, quarterfinal I think is the th furthest they've got. But they've broke through that ceiling in this tournament. And can they go even better and get to the final? Boosh! Na na na! Bounce! Bounce! That's a strong start from Nopi. The Shunasaurus is getting shunted so far. Oh, um, well, that's Shunasaurus dead, I think. Oh, no, it survived. Shunasaurus getting absolutely whooped so far. Although, this did happen in the quarterfinal round as well, and Chomp basically carried Dino Vance to the semis. But this time, the Shunasaurus does land a hit. And a shockwave as well. Good response from Dino Fans. And that means that the Shunasaurus will be going paper. Yet you can't go scissors. You can't go scissors. Yeah, you gotta go rock. The secret moves did get triggered though, so a Patasaurus will take very little damage there. So Nopi still relatively on top here. But Dino fans finally gained some hits in this match. And slowly but surely, chipping away at the Patasaurus's health. Until that happened. And a light recovery to come as well. Well, you know what this means. The Shunasaurus is about to get smashed into the floor. Boosh! A whatever ton of Patasaurus severing the Shunasaurus' spine and well. Let's be honest, it would become nothing but a blob on the floor. <laughs> Right, coming in next for Dino Fans, we have got Chomp. 
Chomp showed his worth in the quarterfinal round, defeating all three of Raybone's dinosaurs. But he'll have a bit of work to do to get past this Apatosaurus, because it is because look, nobody's looking pretty strong at the moment. But he does have the counter blitz. So the counter blitz could come in handy here for Duck Dino fans. Oop, that's a tie. Ooh, Chomp gets the first hit. Attack boost gain triggered as well. Oh, that's another tie. It's a Patasaurus. I do believe it's tied defense type, so consecutive ties will favor it. But that won't favor it at all. And that is all she wrote for a Patasaurus. And Chomp does indeed even the score. But a maxed up attack boost Chomp going up against a super resilient Isosaurus. Gonna be an interesting clash. Well, Nopi will have the protection of Dino Stuffer should Chomp get off a crit. Has some has some recovery moves as well if if and when the Isosaurus gets takes damage. So it'll be interesting. Ooh, Isosaurus gets the first hit and it's a critical one. But Chomp does thrive on low HP. It is super crisis type. Well, at least I think it is. So low health will not face Chomp in the slightest. But that crit will. And it doesn't look like Chomp's going to be carrying Dino fans this time. Which means it's all up to Delta Dromius. Well, his Dino fans, his fairy tale coming to an end. It doesn't look good for him. Well, I say that. We've had Shunasaurus carry him in the second trial. We've had Chomp carry him in the quarterfinal. Is it time for Delta Dromius to team carry? Oh, that's not good. And this Isosaurus still has Dino Stuffer as well. Nopey definitely in control. Okay, yeah, this. I think this is going to be it for Dino fans. You know, they've had a marvellous run in this tournament. They've done so well in the trials. But I think Nopi is just going to be too strong. Ooh, hang on a minute. Dino fans not surrendering yet. Well, can they at least take out the Isosaurus? Well, the elite up the dino stuffer. Fish. Ooh, they are going to take out the Isosaurus with a death grind. But things still, still looking bleak for dino fans. Right, for Nopi's third dino, which I didn't really think we were going to see. We have got the resilient little tank. Well, one hit from tank will surely do it for Nopi. But can they get that hit? Dino fans starting to finally put up a fight. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, hang on. We got a Sonic Blast. Well, that's the last time we'll see Sonic Blast, because I'm pretty sure Delta Dromius can't survive another tie. So despite this hit, that does put Nopi, that still puts Nopi in a commanding position. Because now a tie will do it. So it's win or bust for Dino fans. And it's bust. Well, they put up a little bit of a late fight back, but it was too little, too late. And it is Nopi for the first time in my tournament, getting through to the final. 
Well, going to be in for an intriguing finale, I think. Right, let's have a look at our final. Well, that is our finale, ladies and gentlemen. We have the classics of Ultima Dino King taking on Nopi. And we also have a third place playoff match between Navan and Dino fans. You know, just to finish third, get our bronze medal. But nobody cares about the bronze medal. It's all about the gold. That's going to be it for the semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned and ring the bell to make sure you do not miss out on the finale because you do not want to miss it. And until then, ta-ta.